In question 7, we have to find 10 rational numbers between the two numbers 3 by 5 and 3 by 4. So any 10 rational numbers between these two numbers will work as an answer. Alright, now the two numbers are 3 by 5 and 3 by 4 and their denominators are 5 and 4. Now what we need to do is we need to rewrite these two numbers as equivalent rational numbers with a sufficiently large common denominator. So what could we pick as our common denominator? Well, the LCM of 5 and 4 is 20, of the two denominators is 20. So let's pick a multiple of the LCM that is sufficiently large. So let's take the denominator to be, let's say, uh, 20 times 10 or 200. So we will write both of these numbers 3 by 5 and 3 by 4 as equivalent rational numbers with the denominator 200. Alright, so let's do that. So 3 by 5 will become, so to convert 5 into 200 we have to multiply it by 40. So we have 5 by 40 and then 3 into 40 as well. So this will be 120 by 200 and similarly to convert 3 by 4 into a denominator, into a rational number with the denominator 200, we will need to multiply 4 with 50. So 4 times 50 and then we should have 3 into 50 as well. So this will be 150 by 200. So we have rewritten the original rational numbers as two rational numbers with the denominator 200, 120 by 200 and 150 by 200. Now the numerators of these two rational numbers are 120 and 150 and there are many more, there are more than 10 integers between these two numerators. So we can easily find 10 rational numbers between these two equivalent rational numbers that we have written. All we need to do is we need to pick 10 integers between 120 and 150 as our numerator, numerators. So let's pick any 10 integers. So let's say 121, 123, 126, I'm just picking at random, 129, 132, so that's 5 integers we have picked, then 133, 137, and let's pick 140, let's pick 141, and let's pick 149. So I have picked 10 integers at random between 120 and 150, and now I just need to divide all of these by 200. So 121 by 200, 123 by 200, 126 by 200, 129 by 200, 132 by 200, 133 by 200, 137 by 200, 140 by 200, which could actually be reduced to a lower form, 141 by 200, and 149 by 200. So some of these could be reduced to lower forms, like 126 by 200 or 132 by 200, but that's not really uh, part of the question. We are not asked to write the 10 numbers in the lowest form. So this, these 10 numbers will work as the as our answer. These 10 numbers that we have written are 10 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 3 by 4. Um, of course, we could have found many more rational numbers if we picked an even larger denominator. So let's say if we had picked the denominator as 2000 instead of 200, then we could have uh, found many more integers between the two numerators and we could have written an even larger number of rational numbers. So the idea of these questions, this question and similar questions in this exercise is that between any two rational numbers, you can find infinitely many rational numbers. And to do that, you need to pick a sufficiently, one way to do that is to pick a sufficiently large common denominator for both the rational numbers. So with this, we have completed question number seven. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, Explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.